So we continue our video with group policy object and this time around we're going to install the notepad plus plus software so again i'm just going to come here and just put double backslash put the dc01 or the ip address just come to net logon and see that i have access to it so i will just double click on the setup okay so which means i can install it because when i double click on it if I didn't have the permission, it was going to deny me. But I'm going to cancel. I, I don't want to install it that way. So that this is a way too you can share a software and then people can, users can install it. That is if they have the right to install, they can install it on the network. But this is not what we want to accomplish because if we have 1,000 users, for example, we don't want to have 1,000 users installing and, and and by themselves we just want group policies to just automate that entire process for us okay so we have it all set so we go back to our domain controller it's just going to just be similar to what we already did so it's not going to be completely different so we have to go to the group policy and then what we can do now is we want to assign it to the computers right so domain computers let's go to active directory users and computers and let's see domain computers so right now we don't have anything in domain computers so we'll just come to computers here and this is the client computer so we want to move this client computer all right we want to take this client computer and put this client computer in domain computers so we're going to move cs it's going to move it in here so that when we apply the policy we are not applying a policy to a, an organization unit that doesn't have anything in it right so that's why we move it from computers and brought it in here so now the computer is here and then we can apply the group policy to that so i'm going to close this um group policy editor go back to the group policy so now that we have computers in it so we can just right click on this KLA domain computers and say create a group policy in this domain and link it here so it's going to create the object and then it's going to link it at the same time so that's it notepad plus both installer for example so click OK so now we can see that when we expand the computers, we have the group policy object linked to this, and we have it also created. So if I right-click on this object and say delete, it tells you, do you want to delete this link? This will not delete the group policy itself. So deleting a link doesn't delete the group policy object. To delete the group policy object, you have to come on a group policy object and delete the group policy object from here. Then that will delete the group policy object. So I will just go back and just link on existing and take the notepad plus plus. So I just wanted to demonstrate to you that deleting the link doesn't delete the group policy object. So when you right click on notepad plus plus, we go to edit. Again, we can right click on the link and edit or we can come to the object here and edit. It doesn't matter. Both will do the same thing. So now this time around, we we link it to the domain computers. So on a year, like we said in the previous video, we have computers configuration and user configuration. So since it is linked to a computer, to, to an OU that has computers account, we want to install a true and uh, computer configuration. So when you come to policy, you have software setting. When you expand this, you have software installation. Just as when you come to user configuration, you expand, you also have software, you have software installation. So sometimes this can really throw you off as to where you should be doing it, whether should you do it on a computer configuration or should you do it on a user configuration so the answer will be based on where is the group policy going to be assigned right 
So we are, we link the group policy or we assign a group policy to domain computers. So because it's assigned to computers, so we have to edit it on the computer configuration. If it's assigned to user, then we're going to edit it on the user. So we just right click on software installation, go to new and then click on package. And I'm just going to put double bus live DC01, press enter, go to my net logon, click on the notepad plus plus, click on open, and then how I want to deploy it. So publish is gray out, but publish is where you you assigning it to users, but you want it to be available, and then the user himself or herself can install that software when it's on publish. I assign is just going to do the installation for us. And advance is similar to assign, it's going to do the installation, but it gives us additional settings. So I'm just going to keep it on assign and going to click on OK. And now we have added the notepad plus plus as you can see. So we're going to go to the Windows 10. I'm going to log in to the Windows 10. Sorry. I'm just going to read that my password. I'm just going to go to run. So first of all, when I search Notepad, I only see the original Notepad that comes with Windows. So I'm going to check the command line. So at the command line, I'm going to do GP update space forward slash force to refresh the policy on the Windows 10 and see if it's going to install the software. So this is software installation was unable to apply one or more settings because the changes mode proofs will be processed before system startup or user login. So okay for re to okay to restart. I would just say yes. Let's click close, let's restart the computer and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to log in. Put in my password. So now we have logged in. So let's check and see if we have Notepad++. So if I search for Notepad. Oh. We don't have Notepad++ yet. So we'll give us a few seconds and see what happened. So let's click on sign out. Let's sign back in and see what happens. So I put in my the password. So I'm going to type in my password. It's weird what is happening.
So I'm logging in to see if we have Notepad++ plus plus automatically installed. So yeah, it's automatically installed. We can see the shortcut is on the desktop. So it installed it for us. We can verify by going to the command and say host name. So we are on the client computer and Notepad++ plus plus has been installed. Click on start. You see recently added Notepad++. Plus plus. So that's how you will use group policy to install a software. So we're going to look at a few other view. So we're going to look at a few other group policy video in subsequent videos. But yeah, that's how you go about it. So make sure to like the video if you like it. If you have questions or if you have any video suggestion, make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. If you know anyone who will find this video useful, please do not hesitate to share this video with that person. But without further ado, take care and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.